Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about a topic that I get asked about quite often. Do I do bands or barrette? So just from experience of working with many customers with different breeds, I'm going to share with you what you shouldn't do and how to fix your barrette if it doesn't close. So let's get started. I personally prefer bands over barrette for my girls. Bisu's hair is or coat is different in texture. It's rougher, it's um, thin, but it's still rough. Paris has more of a silky coat and softer and thinner. They both have thin, thin coats. Um, Shisu's normally have a thicker, fluffier coat, but um, for some reason Bisu just turned out to be a little thinner <laughs> than most, and I'm okay with that. Now both my girls can do barrettes, I just prefer bands. Please know that you have to lock in the bow. I have a bow here. This is just a sample bow. This isn't in my shop. This particular bow has bands on it. How do you put on a bow that has a band? Don't you just wrap it around their hair? No, you don't do that, and I'm going to show you why. Let me get Bisu All right, so up here's there. Bisu, and we're going to demonstrate why you do not wrap the bands that are already attached to the bow, why you don't wrap it around the dog's hair. Now, Bisu's rocking her soft ponies because it's a lazy day. It's like a lazy day all the time for us, let's be real. Not unless we're going somewhere do I do a proper top knot. I, I assume when people think that they have to wrap the bands of the bow onto their dog, uh, people that are new to it and aren't sure and they're like, well, if I just wrap, sorry B, <laughs> if I just wrap the bands of the bow on her head, on her head it would have to be pretty close to the scalp. So I'm gonna gather just a little bit of hair here. There we go. There's wrap one. Well, I'm already starting to mess with the bow, the shape of it, too three. Okay, three wraps. It's a little twisted to the side, but for the most part I have it face in front. And you can see the bands there on Bisu. B, you moved your head. Okay, sorry. You can see the bands there on Bisu. Now it does look cute, but how are you going to take that off? Let's think about that. Most people are going to pull that off. So you're going to pull off her hair and um, damage the bow. So what I would recommend is for you to snip the bands off. And I have these band removal snips in my shop. They're hooked on the end. So that way you can grab the band and just snip. Well, since I'm not going to pull this off, I'm not going to attempt to do that to BC. I'm not going to hurt her. I'm just going to go ahead and snip it off of her. So what you want to do is hook the band and pull it up and away from them. Now can you imagine if you had to do this with scissors? Scissors are way pointier and then you're possibly going to slip and not grip the band and cut your hand, poke your hand. So that's why I recommend locking in the bows first with a proper top knot or if you want to do the lazy day thing like we do, I'm usually standing right in front of her, so I can't really see what I'm doing here. Is she back laying down? Can you see? Okay. She's moving so much. All right, so once I have these soft scrunchies in her hair, and let's say you don't have quite enough, it's up to you. You do what you want with the locking part. I like to do lazy days with flatter bows that are like pinwheel style that I call them. If it's a looped bow, I like to do a top knot just because it looks nicer, a lot classier. But if you still want to rock the lazy day ponytail look and want to put a looped bow on it, you can. So I have two bands on the back of each bow in case one does break by accident. If you're doing it right, you have the second as a backup. So I just put that bow, right the band of the bow, right underneath her ponytail, and she still looks cute and nice. B, look at the camera. Look right here. There you go. 
See, it looks cute and nice. I'm covering, that's a 5 8 inch bow, and I'm covering her ponytail, which happens to be blue, well, unless she looks down. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to do it that way, feel free. It's a little cheaper this way because you can continue to reuse the um, soft ponytails. And I'll throw in a card of that video I did a, a while ago and where I use where I get their soft ponies from in case you're interested. But um, if I do this look, it's with a flat bow and I'll get one so you can see. See, and all you have to do is pull that off. It doesn't damage them. And then pulling off the soft ponies doesn't damage the hair either. Just make sure they're the soft scrunchies and not anything with rubber in it. This is just one of the flat, soft pinwheels on the bands. So generally, this is what they look like. I have them in a flat bow. And um, that's what they do I apply day. two of these bands on the back. So when you buy the bows, and if one should pop, you have that second one as a backup. And I just want to show you here, this is the one that I did cut off of the bow that Bisu had on. You can see it looks round unless you pull it apart. And um, you can see where I snipped it. And this one came off of a bow that a customer bought from me. She wrapped this band around her dog's hair, not knowing how to properly put the bow in. And after the first day of her doing it, the band popped and she messaged me right away. I just purchased your bow. She's only worn the bow once and the band has already popped. And the first thing I ask is, did you wrap the bands from the back of the bow directly onto the dog's hair? And the answer is always yes. This is why you don't do it because it pops. Then I have to go in and explain, well, this is why you don't. And then I, I do have a um, top knot guide and a starter kit where you can buy a pack of bands. You can get the snips or you can buy it individually. You can just get the guide or just get the snips. Up to you. And a lot of people have that information elsewhere too. But if you just want to know how I do it and what works for me, you're welcome to check that out in my shop. I'll link that below too if you're interested. That's where I send them and I'm like, well, here's how I do it. And I, I let them know and I'll show them the lazy day video too in case that's an option for them. As well as how to put in a puppy bow like how I did for Bisu because it's some um, people who message me and say, can I get the bow on a clip? And I'm thinking alligator clip or barrette because everybody just kind of generalizes. So I have to be sure. Here's an alligator clip. I use the kind with the teeth. I usually use these on flat bows, but if you request it on a bow, I'll do it. Um, I just don't recommend it because I think it flattens the bow quicker. But some people are determined to have these on the back of their bows, and that's fine. If that's what you know and are used to, do it. Um, dogs that have to wear their bows on the ears or around the ear flaps, I would recommend alligator clips just because more than likely that's the kind of dog that doesn't wear a bow like spaniels and um, recently had a golden retriever I would say a barrette or an alligator clip because your hair the hair there is so short even though you need to lock it in with a band you still need to have something to grip it and I think alligator clips are the way to go for I that. don't have any bows on barrettes for Bisou or Paris but I'm just going to use this plain barrette that doesn't have anything on it to show you how you would um, slip it in. You still need to lock in the barrette, but not quite as detailed as you would with a band. So I think this is why most people would prefer a bow on a barrette, because they can just simply place it and keep going. And just keep on a going, but... um. Same with alligator clips. I may say yuppie. Stay still. Okay. Hey, put your head down a little bit so they can see. Put your head down. There you go, BD. Who's the mark? Okay. We're going to get the treat. All right. Just wanted to show that really quick. So you still have to have something locked in. You can't just slip it in because it will never stay on. 
if I were to just slip this barrette in, it's not going to stay. They <laughs> look down a little bit so they can see. You need to lock it in first before, there you go, because she's going to shake and that barrette's going to go flying or she's going to run and play or whatever. It's not going to stay. It's only staying because she's sitting still. So a lot of people that are new to this just want to let you know that. Lock in the bow with a top knot or lazy day pony like we just had in for Bisu. Okay, French barrettes. You just pinch them open and you slide it through the hair and snap them closed. Sometimes they pop open because you have too much hair gathered or sometimes the clip itself um, won't stay closed. And I have one like that. This one I can't close for some odd reason. It's not letting me close it and leave it shut. It keeps automatically popping open. So I'm going to show you how to fix that now. So if your barrette is, won't close that way and it keeps springing open, all right, see those little prongs there in the middle? See how they're squeezed together pretty tightly? That's why the barrette isn't holding and snapping shut at all. Let's look at one that does work. Okay, see how it butterflies out? That's what the inside needs to look like in order for it to stay snapped shut. So how you fix that is very simple. A lot of people will contact me and say, my barrette isn't closing. Um, can you send me out a new bow? And I'll ask them to send me a picture of it. And then I'll, I try my best to type that up, how to um, fix this. Um, or sometimes I'll just do a quick video and email it to them. So you just open it by using your thumbs and pulling apart these side tabs here gently because um, it can break see how they've opened up a little okay let's see okay now we're going to try to close it there you go so that's how you fix it if you're um, barrette isn't snapping shut, try that first. If that doesn't work, then contact me and we can address that. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Um, as far as which dogs wear bands versus barrette, I really think that's a personal preference. I know most of my Yorkie customers tend to go for barrette, but I think that's because the Yorkie coat is a lot different in texture than most breeds and I think the barrette must hold better in their hair tight. Otherwise, a Shih Tzu or a Maltese mix or any dog that has long hair that can hold a bow is really up to you. You need to figure out if you like bands or barrettes better. I think people tend to go for barrettes because it's a lot quicker to just slip it in and whereas bands, you really have to lock it in with a top knot. Again, I just prefer bands. I like to do my lazy day look like Bisu has and still slip the band on over that and just really do a nicer top knot if we're going out somewhere. You can test out bands versus barrette with a couple of my bows that are not so expensive or if you want me to just throw a bow together for you that won't be expensive with both backings so that way you can feel it out, you can do that as well. For those that are experienced bow wearers that have dogs that have been wearing bows for a while now, please leave a comment below with the type of dog that you have and with what type of backing you prefer for your dog because I think that helps others that are new to this. They're all excited that they have a puppy and the first thing they want to do is buy bows for them and they really don't know. It's a little bit of a process to f figure out what's going to work for their dog. And I know some people like to do a mix. Some people like bands or barrette. It just depends on the bow, how big the bow is or how little the bow is. So it's up to you, but just always feel free to contact me through Etsy. If you have any questions or you want me to put something together for you, we can do that as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it has answered some questions 
because I certainly get this question asked a lot. What do I do, bands or barrette? And you know, it, it just really varies. So thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have a dog that wears bows and let us know what you like, bands or barrette. All right, thank you guys. See you next time.